Hi everybody, Nancy here. All right, today we're going to talk about putting text and pins on their in their own little place on their own layer, and we're going to do that using the uh, handwriting uh, menu and pen to layer, and then on the selection menu we're going to use copy properties to pages. And what we're actually going to do, I don't know about you guys, but you know, while you know my mantra is put it on a different layer, put it on a different layer, that way you've got control. In all reality, when you're busy doing what you do and and you're adding pictures and you're writing text and you're typing in a layer, you know, typing in a label and or you're in a class and you're trying to write everything real fast and you want add a map picture to your class, whatever. You're not thinking about changing layers. So, Ed to the rescue. Zoom Notes is a magic tool. I'm going to show you how to set it up so that it does not matter what layer you are on. If you write something, it will automatically go to the correct layer. Magic, I'm telling you. Let me show you how to do it. I'm going to go to a brand new document. It's just one page. I created it just for this purpose because I wanted to show you if I open up my layers menu. This is the new one. I love it. I love this little guy because I'm able to see what's going on while I'm doing stuff like this. Um, right now, I have one layer. Now, I'm going to go to the right of that and add, I'm going to add three or four more pages. And if you look at any one of these pages, they all have the same exact thing. I've got um, one layer. And let me go ahead and say this. What I'm about to show you works. It does not matter how many pages or how many layers you've got in the document. You can do this at any time and um, it will affect all the pages. Okay. So now I've, I, I want to go ahead and add two new layers because I know that I want to put pen, everything I write with a pen, I want to put everything I write onto its own layer. And then everything that I type, well, you know, using, yeah, type, using a keyboard, um, is going to go on a different layer. Now, I'll go ahead and say this. You can do this to any any layer. But it's just more helpful if you go ahead and do it um, to its own layer. That way you know where things are and you, you know. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus key at the top of my little box and create two more layers. Now, here is the, the one reason why I switch back to the old-fashioned way. Right now, I can't change the text or change the title of these layers. So I'm going to unpin it down at the bottom and open the old-fashioned way and now I'm gonna double tap on the two so I can select it and type in we're gonna call it pins and then double tap on the three and we'll call it um, text or yeah text I think is what it is text all right it doesn't matter what you call it. It's just going to help me to know I can keep up better that way. If it was called apples, it, I wouldn't know what was on that layer. So I call it pins and text. Now I've got three layers on that screen. But if I go to the next screen, I'm going to pin it again to get my little guy up. If I go to, gosh, I did it on page six again. I, I meant to move it to page one. But anyway, see, if I go to five, I've, I've still just got one. But that's okay. It doesn't matter where or when you do it. It just, my brain keeps up with it better if I do it on one. However, I, you could go to page 75 and do it. All right, I'm going to go over to the left, go to the A, which is the text tool. And I'm going to, see, right now it's still just showing the one layer. But if I toggle it on and off, see, it picks up the other two that I added since I opened this last. 
So I'm working with the text, so I'm going to select text. And that's all you have to do. You, there's no apply or anything. You just tell it that. When you toggle it on, that's what makes it work. Okay, now I'm going to select my pen tool. And again, it does not matter which one of these pens you're using. They're all going to go to the same layer that you identify on this tool right here. Pen to layer. Open it up. Select pens. It's like a little rolling thing. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Um, so now I've put everything on the pens, all right, and you're done. You're done for this screen. Now, let me show you. If I go, I make my first layer, number one, is my layer that I'm going to be writing on. It's my active layer. You can tell because it's got a, a dark blue line around it, and you look up at the top, and it says one. Well, I'm going to draw on it, okay? Okay. But if I, if I close it, make it invisible, nothing happens. Nothing changes. If I look at the preview of it, the little diamond on the right side, there's nothing there. But if I click on the pins, it disappears because that's where it's at. <laughs> Don't you just love it? Okay. Now, it's important to know that let me close that that you need to erase let me get the eraser everything you do not want anything on this page on this layer that you're about to uh, make a copy of um, if there is anything on that page it's going to copy I, I, no if there's anything on that layer it doesn't matter what's on other layers if there's anything else on that layer it will copy to everything, okay? So just be aware of that. Um, I'm going to change my, we're gonna do the pins first. I'm gonna make that my, my active layer, and then I'm gonna go to the selection toolbar, the, or the gear, and you see right there, it says copy properties to pages. We're gonna click on that. And it says, you have options of things that you can do this with but uh, are different things you can do we're going to copy the current layer and all I'm gonna do it says all now I see if I said selected I could tell it exactly which page I want to do this to but um, I'm gonna do all and do copy and it's done so now if I scroll to the left see now I've got pins on every layer <laughs> or every page I should say now I'm gonna go back to page six because that's where the other one is I've got to get text taken care of I make text the active one then again I go to copy properties current layer copy and it's done now if I scroll to the other pages they're all three there <laughs> And they all work. They all, they, you don't have to do anything else to it. I'm on, the current layer is one. It doesn't matter what page I'm on, I'm on page two. And I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to write. And I'm going to um, turn number one off. It does not affect it. But if I turn number two off, bam, that's where it's at. 